make car shopping a breeze. Well, a recent study shows that more than 2 million students around the country are vaping marijuana. And we're joined now with Philip M. Ryan, pro uh, program manager at McAllister Institute North Central Teen Recovery Center, who's going to tell us more about the dangers of our youth vaping marijuana. Good morning. Wow, this is a big topic because as we were talking about in the commercial break, I've got a teenager and we've uh, long debated this in the short time vaping has been on the scene because he always argues, oh, no, 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 it's safe. Mm -hmm. I say there's not enough evidence yet. It's too new. So what does the survey say? Yeah, well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So uh, vaping is a, um, turned into a huge issue. Um, it's uh, very accessible. Kids are going to the store. They're buying it. Um, uh, it's essentially o odorless, so they're you know at school using it in class on campus and um, at my center uh, where I work at mostly ninety percent of the referrals uh, the behavioral issues that come along with the around even smoking weed and now uh, they're doing it so much at school um, ninety percent of the referrals I get um, all have to do with vaping you know kids are getting in trouble they're having behavioral issues um, having troubles in school grades and they're getting sent to me it's almost all of them so why is everybody going to vaping I mean what's the attraction yeah it's easy um, it's uh, odorless you can get away with it uh, it doesn't stink up your room it doesn't stink up the class um, it's a little sneakier. You could walk around campus in high school and, and do it down the hallway. And um, so, you know, it's, it's breeding addiction. That's, that's what it is. You know, the kids are doing it more. Um, they're experimenting with other things. And uh, the, the chances of someone using their vape um, and smoking weed uh, it's a pretty high chance they're going to start experimenting with other things. Yeah, because that's the gateway, right? Yeah, totally. So it doesn't matter how you're going to take it, but uh -huh. it's the gateway. Um, you know, the, this onset of vaping, it came on so fast and so furious, and I think so many teens just think, first of all, I'm not going to get addicted, and vaping is actually safer. Uh -huh. You know, that's the misconception that's out there, correct? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you look at the industry, vaping alone markets it with uh, the, the tobacco alone with flavors and colors. Um, it's our kids' generation of tobacco. When um, you know tobacco was big, people smoked. They didn't know um, it was sexy. It was cool. Everyone knows the risk factors with that. So now they've had to market something else in a new way to a younger generation. So with this, it's flavors, it's colors, it's cool ways to smoke it. Um, and now what they've done is they've figured out how to fill these cartridges up with. A THC and I'll get high so they've kind of ditched the tobacco and uh and um, really gotten heavy with the, the THC. So Okay, so I, I saw one of these statistics. It said a school-based survey reports one in every 11 middle high school students have smoked marijuana using electronic cigarettes. Does that shock you? Uh, it should, but I see it all the time. Yeah. So um, it is shocking and um, you know as a parent, as other parents out there, it's uh, concerning because it's, it's uh, when you walk onto a campus, more than not, kids are using vapes. Um, and they're getting caught and they're getting in trouble, but you know, it's, it's everywhere. It's hard. Their whole culture is surrounded with these vape pins. It's so easy going to the store and someone illegally selling you a vape pin. Um, for a guy like me, it's very frustrating because it starts the moment they walk into the store, mm -hmm. they're being sold a vape pin. And then, um, you know, here we go, this, this uh, history of um, trouble, behavioral issues, addiction is now happening, so. So what can we do as parents? I mean, it is, it's sneaky because it, you're not seeing the same smell mm -hmm. and the same smoke coming from this, so what can we do? Yeah, and this is why I really wanted to come here today, is more try to reach the parents, is um, you have a ton of help uh, with McAllister Institute, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of programs in San Diego. We're not the only one, but um, uh, adults, adolescents, um, you give us a call, we can help you. And with parents, if, you su if you're suspicious at all and you need any kind of help, we offer a free drug test. Um, so come in, utilize a drug test, and, um, and then we can go from there. We're happy to help. But what you can do is, I think more importantly, it all boils down to you know, connection with your, with your kid and spending time with your kid, um, knowing your kid. Um, 
you know, a long time ago, someone told me connection before correction. So before you're going to um, correct any behavior, you have to connect with your kid. Um, and the more connected you are, I think the better you'll be able to tell something's different, something's up. You so know. this is something don't ignore because it's just going to grow from here and your programs quick overview of how they're reaching these kids and finding success yeah so we work with schools campuses parents uh, legal systems um, you know we get referrals from all different um, uh, all different areas and um, you know we really individualize our program around uh, the kids needs the parents needs the families needs we work with the family as well as the kid because it's a team effort so when you bring your kid into McAllister um, we're, we're gonna work with you as well as the parent you're not excluded for treatment you're welcomed into treatment with your kid because the best way we're gonna see, uh, see success is everyone's involved yeah so it's a program really individualized around your family's needs um, it's not a cookie cutter deal we're gonna make sure we we can you know find what you guys need it's it's your treatment certainly not a one-size-fits-all but something not to ignore and hey as parents you know we need help and you guys know how to reach those kids so connect then correct good advice this morning thank you so much right. yeah thank you All right.